Elgu Mars, an honest review of 3D resin printing. That's what we're going to talk about today. I recently got an Elgu Mars and dabbled into 3D printing for the first time. So I'm just going to talk about what it was like getting into that for the first time, things I liked, things I didn't like, talk a little about the printer, a little about the resins I used, uh, show off some models that I printed, and if you stick around long enough, uh, got a surprise. We have an exclusive, never before released to the public 3D model by Mr. McAngry. Oh yeah. Printed that up and we're going to show it to you right here on this channel. You can find his link to his Instagram below in the description. You know, you know how it works. So. Without further ado, we're going to jump in, spend a little time getting this opened up. Nothing major. You can watch other videos on that. So here we go. Diving right in. Ooh, package day, package day, package day. Got this package. Got this package in the mail. 3D printer and he's ripping it open faster than I can even get my phone. Ooh, 3D printer day. Mars. All right, we'll get a little bit of this thing opened up here, but I'll probably do more of it off camera than on camera. But let's just have a quick look at it. recommended method of doing this. Uh, a lot of plastic. I'm sure the wipes not heavy that bad. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Look at it. There it is. As soon as we get some resin, we're putting this thing to work. 3D printer day! Just going through some of the stuff real quick. Got some things, some baubles and whatnot. Right. We're going to get this thing put together. Alright, package number two has arrived. What do we got? Sun bio resin and one UV lamp. This thing is all kinds of crazy. All right, all right, all right, all right. So in the manual for the parts list, nothing mentioned about this piece or what these options do. 
Set Z equals zero is the default position for the build plate and it is locked out to prevent you from smashing into the LCD. This piece can be used to hang your build plate at an angle to let the resin drip off. Can you have a metal scraper in there? A what? It's a metal scraper. For future reference, you should use a couple containers to clean in, or if you can acquire a sonic cleaner, those seem to be the choice. I would also note that I hate the smell of isopropyl alcohol, and I did not take into account how much of it I would need. The cleaning process for resin printing can be quite a mess. You must have an area set up for this. I did research other solutions for cleaning, like LA's Totally Awesome, and there's a link to the video here, as well as in the description. Even though I went with plant-based resin to be eco-friendly, having to have mass amounts of cleaning chemicals for this kind of deterred me. So I later switched to a water washable resin from Elegoo. Though everything printed in this video was done in the Esun Biopolymer resin, and it works amazing. And I will continue to use it once I have a proper cleaning station set up. And these buttons. Information is information. Service, information about service. Language, uh, automatically changed it to, I don't know what language. Uh, luckily it changed right back. And then touch cow or calibration, did this. I have no clue, I just powered the machine off. Hopefully it still works. So if you want to check your prints, I recommend checking it early on to avoid those lines. Even though I printed him out way too small, he came out pretty good. All right, so the Elegant Mars is amazing. We have plenty of good ones. There's more than this. Took us a while to figure things out, settings and whatnot. I'm no pro on that. You can search online. We had plenty of mistakes. Good, bad. We're gonna show you it all, and then we'll get to the special model, exclusive, never before seen, 
Mr. McAngry 3D modeled himself. Oh yes, I hope you're chomping at the bits for it. The pumpkin sore. It's got a jack-o'-lantern on him. The cat unicorn. Myrmacatacorn. And Eevee. I love Eevee. My very own 3D sculpted heads. A beholder. Pretty cool. Super cool. Some random parts. A Totoro. A little hammer. A little chomper thing from Ninja Turtles. Look at him. So cute. Look at this Zambi. He's got an axe and a head with a knife in its mouth. This crazy beast monster thing from Titan Forge also. And all the failures. My Hero Forge. His arm didn't come out. Some Eevees. Poor Gur from Invader Zim. Poor Eevees. Dun da da dun da da dun da da dun da da. Oh. And we failed. Had about four failures. But we learned from these. I learned how to do supports, resin exposure settings, and just a lot about 3D printing. I learned it all hands on forcing myself to be able to make this print come out super good or as good as I could get it. And woo whoop whoop got one. Oh yes. Managed to get one to print. I supported the crap out of it. Printed them pretty large. Whoa. What the Oh my What happened to the his head? It really and his is Big and small and... Oh no. Must have teleported wrong. Hmm. Oh. There we go. I... Now we got the parts right. Look at this model. Crisp, clean, so many details. The writing on the swords. Mr. McAngry did an amazing job on these. Knight. Crazy knight. Robot warrior guy. So cool, so badass, so many details, just a, a great job. His 3D models are amazing. All right, I hope you all enjoyed my little adventure into 3D resin printing. Had a blast. I'd like to thank Sid Nerds, Mr. McAngry, Nate's Miniatures. You guys are amazing. Thanks for the prints. Tune in. Next uh, episode, we have Space Marines. For eBay, you'll see what's going on. As always, like, subscribe, type a comment. All that really helps the channel out. If you really like to support me, you could do that. Or I have a Patreon, you can check that out. Merch, you can look into that. So without further ado, just a quick prayer. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've allowed me to do, all the opportunities for the peace I've found in my life. Thanks for all the time with my family. Look over everyone in these rough times. Make sure everyone's all right. Just keep doing what you're doing. We're all here to follow your plan. God bless, amen. All right, everyone, Miniocalypse, fight the gray war, paint them minis. See you next time. Huge thank you to all my supporters. You made purchasing a 3D printer possible. And Miniocalypse, now streaming live on Twitch.